current WBA champion Manny Pacquiao, who defeated Keith Thurman in July, was asked for his prediction who's going to win the fight between Sean Porter and Earl Spence Jr. Both stated if they were victorious Saturday night, they want Manny Pacquiao next. Since all three fighters are under the same umbrella, that fight is very possible. And he says it's going to be a good fight, a nice competitive fight. It's not going to be one-sided, but he thinks Spence will win in a close decision. So if everything goes to plan, Manny Pacquiao is open to fighting Errol Spence next year for a unification match. That's the funny thing about boxing. A couple of months ago, Manny Pacquiao's advisors, his management team, Freddie Roach, nobody wanted Manny Pacquiao to fight Errol Spence. Sean Gibbons, Manny Pacquiao's manager, wanted to stay away from this fight. He said it was too dangerous for Manny Pacquiao. He said he wanted Manny Pacquiao to retire healthy. Would I like to see Errol Spence and Manny Pacquiao fight? I'm not gonna lie, yes I would, because I think it'd be a more competitive fight than people think it is. But does Manny have to fight him? No, I don't think so. His, his resume speaks for itself. He's a boxing legend. A lot of people think he's the best boxer ever, and he will go down as one of the best boxers ever to fight in the game. So Manny Pacquiao doesn't have to prove nothing to anybody. But if this fight happens to go down next year, I think Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao will come up with an excellent game plan to be least competitive in the Errol Spence fight. Manny Pacquiao has fought taller guys than Errol Spence in Oscar De La Hoya and Antonio Margarito. And yeah, I know what you're gonna say, Manny was much younger. Those guys wasn't athletic as Errol Spence is, which are all facts. But Errol Spence has never been in a ring with anybody like Manny Pacquiao, even at the age of 41. Why would Manny Pacquiao take a fight like this? A risky fight like this, as everybody think it is, is a risky fight. He has all the accolades in boxing. What else does he need to prove to anybody fighting a guy like Errol Spence who's in his prime? Errol Spence will have two belts if he beats Sean Porter Saturday. Manny Pacquiao has one. The only thing I could think of, actually there's two things I could think of why Manny Pacquiao would take this fight. One, it'll be a lucrative payday. It'll be a unification match. It'll be a big fight. Another reason is, I know people don't want to hear it, but it's true, it's still floating in the air. Mayweather and Pacquiao are still being talked about. And the Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence unification match, if it goes down, Manny Pacquiao is gonna be a huge underdog. If he beats Spence, I think it's a big possibility that Floyd Mayweather Jr. will come out of retirement and give Manny Pacquiao the rematch that he wants. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what you think about the Errol Spence Pacquiao fight. Will it happen? And if it did happen, what chances would you give Manny Pacquiao to win? JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.